what's up what's good what's going on family excuse the appearances me out here looking like i'm sitting at home oops um y'all so i'm doing my hair but anyways y'all not here for the way that i look we here for the message and spirit set me down and had me create some real quick so let's just see where it takes us all right so y'all this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as your ninth house very particular messages here for your ninth house but even with that being said guys let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest all right so what's going on what's the situation that we are addressing that is affecting my lovely folks right now spirit what's the situation that we are addressing what is the situation so we have egg on their face so some something has been backfired somebody's been caught they got some regret they're thinking about you and now they're wanting to bring the situation into resolution um this is a very toxic connection okay this is a very toxic connection um and even the way that this person intends on going about bringing the resolution in is appears to be very toxic so um but it doesn't stop the fact that this person is nostalgic um you know this there's there's this very vindictive plan that has backfired or this very vindictive narcissistic way that has backfired it's affecting this person in a way that they never thought it would affect them and now like they're they're they're, they're missing you now you know what i'm saying like this card says crying so this card could be crying um i don't think this person expected you to heal and 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 have like to to turn the energy into a way where you could have a positive outcome this person didn't expect that okay um but this person the energy that we're discussing here the energy that is affecting you is is this right here okay so now where we're going to go from this is is where we, is where we're going to have fun <laughs> we want to know you know what are we supposed to do with this what are we supposed to do with this right so we just gonna pull some i'm gonna pull my five cards and see how sagittarius can get in a winning position what are we supposed to do with this why is this back why is the fact that someone is ashamed something has backfired someone's gotten caught and now they're very nostalgic of crying and missing you and now wanting to come to some sort of amends wanting to make some sort of compromise wanting to change the outcome of this situation what is Sag supposed to do with this information here so um to save my wrist what i'm going to do is i'm going to shuffle and i'm going to split the deck and we're going to go from her all right spirit so this is for my lovely sagittarian ninth house collective what are we supposed to do with this can you help us find the lesson so we can move free lee so we have the Six of Swords, beautiful energy, Six of Swords. Uh, we have the Five of Wands. We have the Emperor. We have the Temperance card. And then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so, and then the Four of Wands. This is beautiful energy. This is definitely leading you into a more empowered position because most importantly, what Spirit wants you to know is what, where do you go? <laughs> where do you go from here? You go into the, uh, you stop playing. You stop playing about Sagittarius, yo. You start taking Sagittarius serious. You, you sit in the authority, like you take authority over your life. You decide to, I, I'm, I, I keep on trying to avoid saying sitting in the driver's position because that's, in my opinion, that's a place for the divine. But this is you co-creating with the divine and taking ownership of your own life. Not allowing things to just roll with it. Not taking on, um, not pouring in energy based off of unspoken expectation. You know what I'm saying? Or someone being able to give you less than the truth. And you acting as if it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So this is someone selling you a dream, giving you the bare minimum, feeding you an illusion that something more can come out of it, knowing that there's all kinds of energies and red flags that saying, yeah, this baby, this is really kind of where this road ends with this person. You know what I'm saying? So something is uh, something like you're no longer fighting 
uh, for situations that cause you to co compromise the the like causes you to compromise <laughs> the direction of your life like if it's a red fucking flag it's a red flag and burp it's not to say or a sus it's not to say that i don't fuck with you it's not to say that i don't like you but it's just to say that that energy is not going where i'm going and as much as i fuck with you i can't be involved in that not if i want to keep making strides in the direction in which i'm going um, why you're going through this is uh, why you're going through this situation is to understand the process of <sighs> understanding the process of tit for tat. I'm not gonna lie. The, the six of swords is really the energy of overcoming tit for tat. Trying to win and prove you have a fault for something and then been like well damn i don't even know why i was going through all that because it wasn't even that serious this is understanding that if it's not that serious let it be not that serious no matter how much of a you know, i don't know there's something and the reason i'm saying that is because the image that spirit keeps crossing throwing across my third eye is I was reading on Facebook, I believe it was, and um, this young man said he threw his life away, threw tw ten years of his life away for some for an something that took him five minutes to carry out, and it was based off of a like ego, like somebody wasn't getting ready to disrespect him like that, and it got him ten years. And I was reading how he put it off like that. And it's, it's, that's the energy that this has given me. The lesson that you're meant to learn here is learning when to move things on to come or walk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Learn to learn when to move away from a situation because the conflict in the turmoil really has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So instead of trying to make it a you thing, I see clearly where we're at in this situation. And there's no way that I can truly come at this no matter how much love I got for you. No matter which angle I come at this, you already know how you're going to handle me. And because of that, I have clarity, truth and clarity to move things on to the, you know, that's the five of swords. I see that nothing, I, five of swords, nothing you do wins. Okay, so you see this. That's the Ace of Swords. That's clarity. That then allows you to transmute that Five of Swords into the Six of Swords. And your spirit team will then pick you and sell you into calmer waters. Because in my opinion, the original right away to row, that is your spirit guides pulling you, like guiding you away from uh, the choppy waters. Okay. You're not just in a boat by yourself on the original right away. Um, but, you know. I, that's just where I feel. Let me see. What's the shadow message here? For Let me get a little clarity on this Six of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. The Magician. See? This is all about understanding that um, like there's, there's problems with your insecurities. Your insecurities that make it difficult for you to find stability and make things concrete in your life. That's why it's so easy for you to just go with the flow. Spirit is saying here, like the reason why this showed up in your life is because you have to step into the authority. Like where, like where do you go from here? Is stepping into the emperor archetype, taking authoritative like actions over your life, t sitting, making some power calls about your life, and making them ones like make it worth your while. The emperor does what is best for their highest good of the empire. Okay. So I feel like that you have to understand that you, you're worthy and you're qualified to do so. Okay. And you don't have, and, and it doesn't have to come in a conflicting way. Like with this five of wands being here, that's really telling me that it doesn't have to be in, um, this, like, in this perspective, like that everyone can't eat. Like it doesn't have to be from a lack mindset. You have to address the lack mindset. That if I don't do this, then I'm going to, I got to do this if I want to achieve this. If it doesn't, if it feels like you're sacrificing yourself 
or your true happiness to obtain something, then you really have to make sure that a lack mentality isn't interfering there. That's really what I'm getting here. Okay. Now, where you go from here, like I said, that's that emperor energy. That's telling you, <laughs> let me see something. Clarify this emperor spirit. Clarify this emperor. Y'all give me just one second. Let's see y'all. Let's see. What is this emperor? What is the emperor? Why is the emperor here? This is for where do you go from here? What is it that you're needing Sagittarius to tap into? How do they tap into this emperor like energy? All right, so the card that came out was Uranus here, um, and it says the urge for originality and independence from the old tradition, change this disruption and revolution. So I do, I feel like that this is you taking and building a structure that is absolutely, um, you know, uh, Uran uh, Aquarius is uh, the is the natural ruler of Uranus is, is the natural ruler of Aquarius or however that goes. Um, Uranus is the uh, Aquarian architect and um, that is the age that you know we're in the they say that we're in the age of Aquarius I don't know about all that all I do know is that we are in the age of things innovating taking things out for how it affects the humanity for the greater of humanity okay um, and there is this is definitely saying that you're going to be restructuring the like you're taking authority of this structure um, around you. And it is something that is out of the box. It's definitely something out of the box. Um, your taste buds may be changing at this time. Let me get more on this Uranus energy and the Emperor. Now, the action that you need, that spirit is asking you to take is temperance. And that temperance is, is definitely really asking you to address that self-esteem, you know, the self-esteem issues. You're a star seed. So, of course, you're going to feel different. But that doesn't mean that you're not worthy. You understand what I'm saying? This is, that's the thing. Of course, you're, a, yeah, you're a star seed. So, of course, you feel different. Of course, you feel like you don't belong. Of course, you may feel like that, like, dang, I don't feel understood. Maybe something is wrong with me because don't nobody do it like me. Of course, because you're a star seed, you're meant to be different. There's, there's a few like you, but that doesn't mean that you aren't worthy of us spreading the message to to help enlighten others okay um i don't even I, there was something that was getting ready to i was getting ready to go off on a tangent on but um yeah uh, star seeds are advanced spiritual beings who possess spiritual and scientific knowledge that date back hundreds and thousands of years. So it's like you're, you're being asked to really tap in and listen to your intuition as things are changing around you. There is there a dis there may be disruptions around the structure of your life, but these disruptions are happening to allow you to break out of the conformities because their conformities are not where you're meant to shine. You don't. It says Uranus speaks about the urge for originality and independence. You desire something that is not yet been factualized because you're the key to it. I know that seems dramatic or whatever the case may be. Oh, we was talking about self-esteem issues. Yes, with the temperance, you know, um, it's like. You have to like your abilities and your worth is the very thing. Like that's the action. It says where uh what action do I need my Sagittarians to take at this time? That is the temperance. I need you to be patient and I need you to really take this time as things are slow movement and as as you're preparing to take major action uh act uh action steps in your life. Make sure that you are addressing your self-worth issues, your self-esteem. Make sure that you truly are believing in the fact that you're worthy, okay? And that you have very, very, 
very special abilities with starseed energy coming out here. You have special abilities. You have to trust in them and understand and like don't shortchange yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 let a few things don't let a few hiccups cause you to doubt your craft or, or really it's not even your craft it's your gift okay so let's look at this temperance just a little bit not too much i ain't gonna be here too long y'all y'all tell me what y'all think about this reading <laughs> temperance is being clarified by live your dream baby um never give up on your dreams dare to live uh live the adventure Fuck being nice. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're doing something different. And, of course, there's going to be some pushback. Of course, you're going to ruffle a few fell feathers, a, a, a few tail feathers. But that's on them. As long as you know that you're not out here moving with malicious intent. And you and you know that um, the intention is pure. And not that old um, earthly definition of pure. Then, baby, move forward. You know, move forward. But it is for you to fight and or to push towards your dream. You know what I'm saying? To push for your dream and stop sacrificing your stop compromising your happiness just to um have some sort of I don't know, pointless victory is really what I'm feeling. Yeah, um, in times when things are moving slow, um, if you really pay attention to your intuition and the signs and synchronicities, spirit will drop in some information to you that spirit wants you to just pick up a book and read. Like if spirit says, um, if spirit says Jupiter, you know, Jupiter is our natural ruling planet. So if Jupiter, if a spirit says Jupiter and out of nowhere, you just like, Dang, I don't even know where that comes. Spirit just want you to go do some research on that, learn and allow that to and like see how that speaks to you. What is it teaching you? What can you do with the knowledge that you run into as you are researching? Same things that are dropping into you. OK, research. All right. The advice here. And the support you know how you improve this situation is the six of cups now we're talking about somebody we're not i didn't forget about it it all matters we're talking about someone who is regretting the way that they showed up in this connection something that somebody's ego got the best of them and it backfired and it caused them to it caused distance in between the two of you all this person is now thinking about you they want to come to some conflict resolution the advice to improve and to get this energy the low vibrating aspects of this situation out of your energetic space is to the six of cups unfortunately that is saying remember like Compassion is understanding where that person is coming from. Been there, done that, I understand. And just because I can say, I understand where you're coming from and I'm not taking that personal. That does not mean that I have to let this person back in my life, back in my bed. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means that I am, when this energy comes my way, whether I just feel it energetically or not, I am in the space of saying, oh, I re yeah, I forgive that. Yeah, I forgive you. I don't hold, I don't hold you. I don't hold nothing against you. We good. We good. We good. You know what I'm saying? It's throwing that kind of energy at it and not being, nah, I'll return that shit. I hope they get that. Da -da 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 -da. And well, mm -hmm. well, you know, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. Now what you get, yeah, bitch, yes, learn next time. Yeah, all of that is true. But spirit is saying that the the way to improve the situation is to understand how you connected to this situation in the first place. Like, like in the first place and in this present moment, you've been foolish. You can't relate to this person's decisions. Maybe not the same details. You know what I'm saying? But that's just where you have to make sure that you're um, maturated to a place where you're able to look at the bigger picture and not so much focus too much on the details. Okay. Spirit keeps bringing me over this way. Thank you, Granny. 
to clarify the six of cups oh wow wow look unknown gift inner truth like for what i just feel like that this is this message has been like when you can connect like when you can identify how you can relate to the quote unquote like how you can like you can relate to this i promise you if you could and if you don't have nothing to learn from this situation baby the universe won't let it be in your face period period you got to start moving just like that it reveals to you some things about you that you don't even know is in there but it's your inner truth and the universe needs you to open your mouth and allow and expose this inner truth because it allows for some sort of major quantum jump okay it allows for you to go into a uh, calmer waters like the six of swords and you see how they riding off into the sunset but the sunset also look like it has the illusion that it could go downhill too you know what i'm saying so you may not know what's but you know that this is calmer waters it's clear you're taking that quantum jump even this that quantum jump baby it's it's a up and then it's a down but you still have to have faith and know that this down is different than any down that you've ever or this what this is this you have to look at this in a different perspective in order to see the value and the power of where it is that you're headed yeah that's where your breakthrough is found wow I love, and, and gritty got more cards turned over hold on breakthrough You are more. I'm just saying. So I, I, I think that you like spirit is letting you know here that you're more than this. Like you're you're worthy of so much more than this. And unfortunately, at the time that you encountered this person, you didn't know your worth. OK, so now that this person is in your energetic space and may never actually present themselves in the physical form send this like do the energetic work internally to get this person out that's where we go from her maybe we can finally start making strides in the right direction all right spirit baby girl what's the message and playfulness i feel adventurous change me divine beloved into one who is widely open to the new free me from the rigid patterns that no longer serve let me feel adventurous and spontaneous knowing that i knowing the more i open to life the more it opens to me boundaries i am entitled to say no change me divine beloved into one who easily sets boundaries wherever needed May I feel entitled to say no to any situation that feels bad or wrong. Fill me with divine confidence. Speak through me. Nourishing, and I can't lie. Um, Granny E did point out, wow, and so two, three cards here speak about nourishing. So definitely make sure that you're taking care and putting the right nourishment into your body, mind, and soul at this time. Three cards, bam, 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 about nourishing. So definitely something about your diet is a little off right now, okay? Got to change the perception as it pertains to the way that you're feeding yourself in this period of waiting. Um, it says, uh, change me, divine beloved, into one who accepts my body exactly as it is, seeing it as a vessel for your love. Fill me with gratitude for this physical form. Let me nurture and care for myself in every way ashe 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 all right my loves i hope that this message offered you the guidance if it did don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below love you